Hey everybody, how's it going? Excel Dude coming at you again with a video on find and replace. These are quick functions, they're super easy to use and super fast and also super helpful. So that's super convenient. So the first thing we are going to do is find our standard data set here and let's say we need to replace certain things. We want to find, that's where we're going to start. We will use, we're going to find Matt Breda, Breda however. There are two ways you can do this. The first is the standard one we all know, control F, and then you can copy that, paste it in, you can type it in, there you go. Or let's say you just wanted to find Matt, you don't know his last name. Oh, okay, any others? There is. Hey, wow, there's a few. And if you just wanted to find the start of the last name, you think, okay, I don't know how to spell it, but B-R-E-I, something like that, there he is. So it's almost like it's got wildcard functions in the other video that we just did. So it's a pretty great function, very flexible. You also have some options with it. You can make it look within this sheet. You can make it look in the entire workbook. So this is the sheet right here. If we were to add another one, we had data here. Let's say we had the word seven written there. We go here and we would okay where's that seven? Oh, it's on one of these sheets and we have 50 tabs hypothetically find find and we hit that options and then we go to I want to look not just in the sheet but the workbook and seven there it is it took me right to it great so you can find things that you've hidden around or put in different places in your spreadsheets you can also search by rows, which means you'll search this way first and then that way. So your first matches will come from here. You can look in formulas. So if you have something coded into a formula specifically, like maybe an indirect formula, and you don't remember what cell it is, control F, let's look in formulas, indirect. There you go. And you can also make it case sensitive. So if you happen to spell something a certain way, or if you were to go maybe put a space in there and mess with somebody or make it so you could only search it, you can get pretty creative with it. Same thing for Detroit. If you want a team, you go DET. Okay. DET. Yep. And you can even mix them up. Yep. And it'll just cycle through continuously. It won't stop at the end. It'll go back to the top. Then you can also do Ryan. So let's say we're... Oh, okay. We have part of a name here. R-I-A-N. What's that from? Adrian Peterson. What do you know? Brian Hill. And there it is. The next one, replace, is pretty cool. So replace lets you do, uh, really you can find anything you want. So let's say we want to take, or to take all of these Tennessees here. The abbreviation, we want to change it to 10. T-E-N-N, -N, period, with that exact syntax. So what we will do, same thing. Find and select, replace. So we can go to find what? 10. We can either type it in or we can copy and paste it. So we could do that. Copy, control C, then control V to paste. You can also replace it with, yeah, T-E-N-N, T-E-N-N, -N, whatever you want. And then you can also have format uh, settings. So let's say it's only the ones here in all caps or only the ones in uh, blue highlight or things like that. So it's very flexible, but if we do this, we can find all. So it has all the data sets listed right here, all the occurrences, one, two, three, four, and five, gives you the cell. You can cycle individually, and it'll move you along the screen here. You see how we're moving, it's going here. The next one was here, that was the first, the second, so on, and so on. But if we go find all, then we hit replace all. We found six occurrences, and guess what? Now we have six replacements. So all of these tens. So if we go to here and we try and find, all right, we have T E N, but if we went T E N N, period, went match case, so we wouldn't find any. So if we go to T E N N, period, We'll find that, yep, and we can search everything there. So if we want to try one more option here, we'll not match the case, but we're going to go find Junior, 
with the period, we're going to replace it with junior. So we can go find all, replace all. There you go, we did five. You can do them one at a time as well. So you can always select and go through your individual ones. And the last example, we're going to change the third with Roman numerals to the third. Find all. There's two. So, interesting. Let's see who we have. RG3. Makes sense. And we have it up here. So, find all, replace all, and there we are. That's find and replace. Quick functions. If you need to change any syntax or just adjust all the things in one uh, format, it works really well if you don't have any filters on your labels. But if you have any other videos, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear from you in the comments, and I'll see you next time.